Hey guys and dolls, welcome back to the makeup community. If this is your first time here, thank you so much for checking us out. My name's Chris. You are going to notice in my voice and in my hands that I have tremors. It's called Parkinson's syndrome. It is genetic early onset Parkinson's disease. And that's kind of how everything got started. I wanted to show everybody that just because you have some challenges doesn't mean that you have to give up what you love. And I love makeup. I always have. And also, I get a little more confidence to go out and face the world when I feel like I'm looking my best and makeup has a lot to do with that. So today I am admitting to everybody that I am now on Santa's naughty list. Like I was bad. I was naughty. I had not checked my email in a while. So it started out innocently enough. I went to the mall with my son's girlfriend she had to get some clothes and we thought let's do lunch let's go to the mall and I went into Sephora to check things out as one does and I found out that they were having a bonus 20% off weekend so yeah that turned into this which also kinda sorta turned into this so I figured I would share my shame with you guys and show you what I got. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe I did that. Actually, I can. You know, I admit it. So some of the stuff was, I mean, actually things that I needed, but most of it was stuff I really didn't need. But hey, what can I say? So first of all, I needed, I actually needed a couple new eye brushes and so I got these. These are from the Beauty Magnet collection and they are actually really good brushes. I enjoy these. They're Sephora brushes. The price point is excellent on these. I, I enjoy these. I think that they do a really great job. They wash beautifully. So I picked up a couple more of those because I need to replace some seriously old, old, old brushes. And another thing I needed, I needed a new eyelash curler. So I got this little set from Tarte that has a little sample of the Lights Camera Lashes if, mascara. If you guys have never tried the Lights Camera Lashes mascara from Tarte, it is really good. So I am actually going to put the mascara in my giveaway bin. Okay, so I know that this has been out for a little while, but I picked up the Too Faced Sugar Peach Wet and Dry Palette for face and eyes. And that's actually what I'm wearing on my face right now. Here's what the palette looks like. And it is, it's beautiful, guys. I mean, I really like this. It is just beautiful. So you get your bronzer, which is glittery but I mean it does great and the highlighter these are so soft and buttery I'm telling you guys this is here we go look at that that's beautiful and then you get your two blushes so you have kind of a terracotta peach it's a little darker than I think what it looks like here and it's got some glitter in it and then a shimmery pinky peach down here all super soft super pretty I really like this there we go the pinky peach one kind of reminds me of NARS orgasm which you guys know I'm addicted to and it's my favorite blush so I wanted to try these out and they are beautiful and I am not disappointed now I'm wondering why I didn't get it sooner you know I've been seeing it I, everywhere and I just never picked it up I'm glad I picked it up so Something brand new that came out that is just coming out right now is the NARS Ignited Eyeshadow Palette. And I'm wearing that on my eyes right now. I didn't go ham on it because, you know, I had places to go where going ham on the eyeshadow might not have been appropriate. But I am going to do its own video because it deserves it. Plus, it just came out, so I need to let you guys know if it's worth the money. There, oh, these are so gorgeous. You have got metallics and glitters and just beautiful colors in here. Like, look at that. That is so beautiful. 
I love this. It's kind of got a pinky peach, more pink tone to the palette, but it's very pretty, and I'm super glad I picked it up. Let me get one more here just so you can see just how beautiful these are. Look at that. I mean, just stunning. I'm really happy that I picked that up. So that was that was a surprise. I had no idea that they were coming out with the Ignited palette. Very happy. I mean, the lady had to say, hey, we have some of the new ones in the back. Let me go grab one for you. Like, that's how new it was. They didn't even have it out yet. So that is what I got at the store. And then I came home, and, of course, you know, my makeup brain, my makeup love brain went, hey, you know what? You're getting 20% off. Why not pick up just a couple more things? Let's go online. And I did. So let's start out with something that's been out for a, quite a while. I have one Marc Jacobs um, eyeshadow palette. It's the white one, the limited edition one that they came out in the spring. I forget what it's called. And I really liked it. So I got Glambition. And it's really pretty. If you guys have never tried Marc Jacobs eyeshadows, if you have it in the budget, I highly suggest going and getting them because they are really good. They are super soft. They're blendable. They're really good eyeshadows. So here's what Glambition looks like. And I know it's kind of boring that there's, you know, not a lot of, like, super amazing shades in here. But for every day, which is what I was looking for, I was looking for kind of an everyday eyeshadow palette. It is just beautiful. Um, I like these kinds of colors. I gravitate more towards them. And because the Marc Jacobs formula is so great, um, I wanted to get something, you know, else for kind of an everyday look from them. But like I said, if you have it in your budget, I recommend trying them out. They're wonderful. Or do like I do and save for the sales. You know, Sephora's going to have another sale in the spring. Put it on your wish list. Wait for the sale and get it. That's what I did with the Pat McGrath sh uh, eyeshadow palettes. Is I actually saved it to saved them. I got two and waited for the sale. So I got these. Okay, in my climate, it gets really dry in the winter. So I gravitate towards like lip balms and lip butters. Uh, you know, anything moisturizing on the lips. And so I wanted to try out the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Lip Balm Set. These are tinted lip balms akin to like the sugar ones. And they're so stinking adorable. Like, let me make sure they don't fall out. Can you see this? These are so stinking cute. They've got like flamingos and Christmas hats and of course the pineapples and then palm trees and Christmas lights over here. But they're all tinted and they're different colors of the tint. Here, let's open our flamingos. This color is red. Well stated. Red. Oh, here, let's try it. Let's see what we think. Oh, they're glossy. They got a little hint of color and they're glossy. Hmm, I like that. Let me try that pineapple one. Let's see the pineapple one. This one is rose. I'll probably get a lot of use out of a rose one. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's they're glossier than the sugar ones. They smell minty. Yeah, they have a hint of mint going on there. Hmm. I am excited to try these because, and I'm probably going to pop them in my purse right away. Um, they're small. They're in little cardboard containers. So even though I, you know, have a separate makeup bag, hopefully they'll survive. But I wanted to try these out. And so far I'm pretty excited to use them. So like I needed another eyeshadow palette. Everybody talks about Natasha Denona and how wonderful her eyeshadows are. I personally do not feel comfortable spending $129 on an eyeshadow palette. That's just my personal taste. If I 
you know, was comfortable with it, well, heck yeah, I'd get them. But to try it out, I got the mini star palette here. Because I heard she has a new formula and it's great and everything else. So um, with a 20% off, it only came to $20. So why not? Oh, here's what that looks like. And let's swatch these. These look beautiful. So the first one looks like, I can't tell if they're backwards or forwards. So like, you know, they, they put it on the back. All right, we're going to skip the names because I'll get them wrong. So look at this is one of the reasons why I purchased that, that duochrome blue to red. That is just stunning. Then you've got a matte peach, which I'll probably use quite a bit if her formula is as great as everybody says, which I have the feeling it is. And then we've got a shimmer kind of champagne -y peach color here. Oh, oh wow, that is smooth, guys. Maybe people are right about these. Wow, that is beautiful. That is smooth. And we've got a matte brown. Wow. Yeah, you know what? If these go on the eyelid like they swatch, I'm going to be very happy with this. And then we have a gold at the end here. Metallic gold. Wow. Okay, so those shimmers, metallic, they go on like a dream. And the mattes are great, too. They're very soft. Okay, so I am definitely going to be playing with this soon. I am super excited about that. Oh. All right. I might be a convert. It might be kind of like the Kevin Aquan. Might be a convert here. Speaking of Kevin Aquan, so I have become a recent convert to Kevin Aquan. I bought the Nude Pop eyeshadow palette, and so I decided to try the Molten Lip Color Mini Collection in the Nude Pop Collection by Kevin Kwan. Now, on the back of this, it says, like, you know, fill in with your favorite molten matte shade and then apply your choice of molten metal, molten gem, or top coat to the center of the lips. So, are these the only, like, really long-acting liquid lipsticks? Are these? Is the top coat, like, a gloss? I'm going to have to play with it a little more. I need to do, like, a, a follow-up video with all of this stuff to, you know, let you guys know how things worked out. So here they are. Oh, and I'm already dropping them out of there. Here they are. I don't know if you can really see the center color, but it's got like little golden sparkles in there. And then the top coat's like a beautiful opalescent color here. So let's pick one of, let's pick the one in the center. So it's got a doe foot applicator. It's really kind of nice. I don't know if you guys can tell it's kind of angled in there. Oh, that's pretty. Oh my gosh, that is very pretty. It doesn't smell like anything. Like there's no definitive smell to it. Let's try one of the mattes. I like this doe foot applicator. Like it's angled angles in to fit the curve of your lips. There's the lighter pink matte. So that one would be Tori. And here is Dolly. It's the darker pink matte. We're just gonna go through them all. I love playing with new makeup. Ooh, that's really pretty too. That is a great winter color. I love that. All right, let's go in with this shimmery one. So this would be rose gold. It's the metal one. Wow, that is stunning. Look at that. That might be a little light for some skin tone, but that's beautiful. And then this is the top coat. This is the one that I'm interested to see if it's like a gloss. Oh, yeah, I mean, the formula seems to be a little thinner. 
This is very, like, opalescent. Those are very pretty. These are some beautiful nudes. Okay, I cannot wait to get um, my little hands in those to actually apply instead of just playing with it. Anyway, those are the Kevin Aquan Nude Pop Molten Lip Color Mini Collection. There we go. I figured this was a good way to see how his... I just dumped two of those out of there. Yeah, that's exactly what you guys heard. I figured this was a good way to try out his lip products. So, yeah. And I got one more. So I picked up another item from the NARS Holiday Collection. This is the Orgasm Infatuation Cheek Palette here. This is what the Unicarton looks like. And then the palette matches the other holiday items. See, it's got that raised here. And this one is a rose gold color. And you guys know, you know, the Orgasm Blush. That is like my number one blush. So this has the Laguna Bronzer Orgasm Blush and an Orgasm Highlighter. So I've never, I've tried like just the sample packets of the Laguna uh, bronzer but I've never tried the orgasm highlighter like I don't even know if that's like a permanent thing so there's the Laguna bronzer there is the orgasm blush and here is the orgasm highlighter so I got this more for travel purposes because that way you know I've got my bronzer my blush and my highlighter in one and it's actually a blush that I use a lot um before I got a kid I used to travel a lot and then when I got him he was 14 um when I got him and so the travel kind of went on a hiatus there which totally worth it completely worth it but it's time for Mama to travel again now that he is off. He's in the military and has turned into a wonderful young man. And so it's time for Mama to start traveling again. So that is it, guys. Um, if you guys got anything during this haul, let me know. Share. Tell me what you got. Tell me what you, you know, loved. If you got anything or, you know, let me know what I got that you're interested in so that about does it i will talk to you guys down in the uh, comment section and i'll see you in my next video bye